What's going on everybody? g Bonding coming at you with a brand new cryptocurrency video and in this video I want to talk about Digibyte. If this is your first time here and you're interested in cryptocurrencies, I'm going to try to be mentioning one of these coins every single day, a different coin. So uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, so with Digibyte, we got a max supply of 21 billion coins. The circulating supply is around 9 billion, getting close to 10 billion. And this is a mineable coin right now. It's number 43. And if we look at the charts, it's uh, getting pumped right now. So uh, I don't know if it's a great time to buy it. But um, I've heard good things about this coin. A lot of people are hyped about this coin. Right now, it's uh, going on the upward trajectory. So it's probably getting pumped now. Is isn't the best time to buy it but um it is a cheap coin around 10 cents earlier today it was around nine cents and basically if we go to the markets it has a lot of uh it has a lot of um exchanges that you could go to and check it out so it is a reputable coin it came out in 2013 so um good things with uh digibytes all right, so if we go to the Wikipedia, it reads here, Digibyte is an open source cryptocurrency running on the Digibyte blockchain, a decentralized international blockchain created in 2013. The Digibyte coin was developed in 2013 and released in January 2014. Although based on Bitcoin, adjustments in the code allow for improved functionality, including 15 second block time and improved security. As of January 2018, Digibyte has a total market cap of over 1 billion. It is the longest public block chain in existence let's go to the overview and history digibyte was created by programmer and entrepreneur jared tate with a goal of creating a fast and secure cryptocurrency that could reach a wider and more decentralized community than bitcoin the first digibyte block was mined on january 10th 2014 and include included the headline from usa today target data stolen from up to 110 million customers hashed into the Genesis block to mark the importance of a security in digital transactions. Also included was a premier to pay developers and early adopters. Digibyte pioneered as asymmetrical difficulty adjustments mining with DigiShield, which is a widely used technology and the basis of many other blockchains. In it, also the first to blockchain to fork from a single proof of work algorithm, the multi algorithm mining, however, not the first cryptocurrency to use multi algorithm. Let's go down and check some specs, specifications, and technology. Digibyte opened with a block time of 15 seconds and handling up to 560 transactions per second. Every two years, the Digibyte blockchain dynamic system doubles the number of transactions per second by doubling the block size. In 2019, capabilities reaches 1100 plus transactions per second with a maximum capacity cap capability of 280,000 transactions per second to be reached in 2035. As of June 2017, there are over 8 billion Digibyte coins and the maximum number of coins is 21 billion, set to be reached in 21 years after creation in 2035. The number of coins is a deliberate ratio of 1 to 1000 to Bitcoin. Digibyte can be mined over five different algorithms. These are SHA-256, ASIC friendly, SCRIPT, ASIC friendly, Grostal, GPU friendly, Skyne, GPU friendly, and Qubit, ASIC friendly. All right, as far as platforms, there are six platforms for the Digibyte blockchain and currency. These including Digibyte Gaming, Digibyte Tip, Digibyte Market, DigiSign, DigiID, and DigiHash. DigiHaz is a, is a developer mining pool. As of June 2017, it supports SHA-256, Script, Skyne, and Qubit. The fees from this pool go to the developers specifically to help support the currency. Digu is a smart contract platform running on the Digibyte blockchain. The technology embeds a security cryptographic SHA-256 hash of a document and embeds it in the Digibyte blockchain allowing anyone to store notarize and validate any document in the public in secure decentralized manner it focuses on security and has case studies in sectors such as healthcare government legal 
trade finance insurance and real estate and then it has all the wallets down here i'm not going to read them all to you and some exchanges as as well as some mining pools that you could check out if you're trying to mine this currency so that's the rundown of the wikipedia and then they got the website here looks like a pretty pretty good website all right so this is the about home more secure faster and forward thinking blockchain technology these are the key attributes that have made digibyte what it is today and where it will be in the future what makes digibyte more secure global decentralization the digibyte blockchain is spread over 100,000 servers computers phones and nodes worldwide five mining algorithms digibyte uses five secure and advanced cryptographic mining algorithms to prevent mining centralization compared to the single algorithm blockchains advanced difficulty stability Difficulty adjustments protect a blockchain from several forms of malicious attacks by creating and implementing DigiShield and MultiShield. Digibyte has the, the most advanced difficulty stability of any blockchain in the world today. So I think what the emphasis is with Digibyte is that it's really, really fast. 15 second blocks. Digibyte has the fastest block speed of any public UTXO blockchain in the world today with 15 second block timings. Early SegWit implementation segregated witness allows for several innovations to occur on the top of the Digibyte blockchain, such as cross-chain transactions and single confirmation transactions. And then blockchain rigidity. Digibyte transactions, unlike other transactions on the blockchains, are limited in size and scope to increase speed, efficiency, and throughput. Most importantly, this maintains security. What makes Digibyte forward thinking? Cybersecurity. Digibyte blockchain technology can be leveraged and applied to applications fixing 90% of the most common vulnerabilities affecting the internet today. IO devices. The future of Digibyte includes the focus of applying Digibyte security to I.O. devices and services that require robust communications. And then artificial intelligence by combining advanced in advancements in Digibyte blockchain technology with artificial intelligence, we are exploring new innovations in automation and data analysis. And yeah, this that part of it just sounded like a whole bunch of buzzwords, but this is what it says in the about on the the company website or the cryptocurrency website and i mean the website is pretty pretty nice um i've heard good things about this project so i might think of buying uh a couple a couple coins i mean and that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to find some good projects and really figure out what it is that i'm trying to do with the extra bitcoin just because bitcoin has been performing eh. It's been performing all right, so uh, I'm trying to look for new projects. But yeah, um, everything looks like Digibyte keeps up to date with their social medias and their their blogs and their forums. They got a Telegram, 11,000 members. All their Reddit has 14,000 members. And let's see when they put in the last commits and what their github looks like this is all the stuff you want to look at when you're looking at any coins i've had a lot of people ask me what type of coins uh they think that what type of coins i think they should get and basically i just tell them do your research and this is a great way to do research just go to all all the all the things related to digibyte and pretty much check them out Digibyte has 2,974 commits, so a lot of people are working on this coin, so it's looking like a good coin. So far, out of the all the coins that I've looked at, this is the one that I like the most. I mean, I've only looked at Folding Coin and NXT. This one is the third one, and it is pretty cheap. Um, the number of the supply is super high, but if you got 2,974 commits, then that means that somebody is constantly working on this project. So that that's that's a good sign on its own. If you go to their Reddit, they have 14,000 um, readers. So it looks like a huge community so far from all the other all the other coins that I've seen and how many readers they have on Reddit and stuff like that. This one has a pretty large following. The followers on Twitter, uh, 116k, so pretty reputable so far. Um, 
I'll have to check and see the wallet and see how that works. But yeah, that's that's pretty much what Digibyte is trying to work for. It's a mineable coin with speed, and yeah, I guess that's how that's how they see an improvement to Bitcoin. Right now, it is around 768 satoshis, so not oh 738 satoshis, so not that bad at the time. It is January 10, 2018. So, I mean, it's it's been doing all right. If we check check the charts, right? If we check the charts, it's uh, pumping right now. So probably not the best time to buy, but hey, you can't get them all cheap. So um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you liked anything on it, give it a thumbs up. Remember to like and subscribe. Hit post notifications to capture my videos. And yeah, I'm gonna pretty much be checking out all these coins trying to pick a different coin every single day just to learn more about all these cryptocurrencies and what they have to offer so that's gonna do it for this one see you in the next video peace